everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to a vlog so i am headed to the cotswolds today actually in a few minutes we're gonna leave and i'm going with my mum and maple just for a couple of nights we are staying in an airbnb and i'm so excited hopefully it's going to be a really lovely few days away you may remember if you are a long time viewer of my channel that we actually went last summer as well we kind of are making it like a traditional annual trip every summer a few nights away in the Cotswolds because it's really close for us it's only like an hour and a half to get there so we're off again this afternoon and I'm really excited so I thought I would just show you guys my outfit before we leave so luckily it's really sunny today so um I've got on quite a summery outfit but unfortunately the weather tomorrow doesn't look that great but then thursday it's looking nice and dry so i've had to pack a real like mismatch of things but this is what i've got on today a very summery look this new jacket slash cardigan from h&m which i love such a cute little piece really good for now on a day like this when it's like nice but not too warm but also a really nice transitional piece as well and then to keep it nice and light and summery i've got on these jeans which i got a while ago from Primark they're just super comfy for like the car journey and I think we're going to stop and probably get some lunch as well and then I've got tan accessories I wanted a crossbody bag because if I've got maple with me it's just easier to not be holding onto a bag so I thought I'll take my little Jacquemus one and then I've also got my brown Oran sandals on for comfort so this is my outfit I'm packed and ready to go you can see the stuff here behind me on my bed i have gone for a katie loxton luggage theme actually because they're just such handy pieces so i have my cabin suitcase here personalized with al on which is super cute mask all my clothes in and then i've got like toiletries and chargers and hair stuff in here there's actually still quite a bit of room in there and i'm also going to take my tripod which you may think it's a bit extreme, but I thought it would be cute to maybe film like a couple of get ready with me's in the Airbnb. So I'm going to take that. I may actually be able to shove it in here as well. But yeah, that's my luggage and we're about to set off. Just checked into the Airbnb. Apologies if you can hear the road. It's quite a busy road that the cottage is on but it's really cute i'll insert some clips now of what it looks like before our stuff is everywhere Maple's having a good sniff around and getting to know it, but it's really sweet. I think we're going to head into Stow, in the, Stow on the World, into the town centre a bit later once we sort of unpacked and got ourselves sorted and get a bite to eat because I actually feel quite hungry now. Um, there's still a couple of bags left in the car, so I may have to go and run and get them. But yeah, so far so good. I will obviously link the airbnb in the description box as well for you someone's exploring the stairs careful all right. where are you going <whistles> come on this is a very sweet little garden area as well for maple to run around in So we're at dinner. Maple's being very well behaved. We've come to a very sweet little Greek restaurant and we're the only ones sat outside, but we thought that that would be better for Maple than to be inside, but it looks very sweet. So we 
we've just come to a little coffee shop for I've got hot chocolate and I think mum got me a brownie so we're gonna eat this um we got a mm -hmm. it's sort of raining a little bit so we're gonna try and decide what we want to do today to avoid getting wet We've come to Lower Slaughter for a walk and it is so pretty. Let me show you. Really, really lovely here. So we're just going to wander around. Luckily, the weather has um, got people. <laughs> Luckily, the weather's held off. It's nice and dry. Anything on that menu that you like? What have they got? Look, um, an egg and black truffle mayonnaise baguette. That sounds so nice. Really red onion. sun has finally come out which is perfect timing because I just did a quick change in the car into something a little bit more appropriate for dinner. I don't actually even need this cardigan at the moment because it's so nice and warm but we are walking to the Double Red Duke which is a place that we've been to before. Really really nice and if you've not been there before which you probably haven't then the outside area is lovely. There's these big um red and yellow umbrellas i'll show you when we get there so we'll be able to sit outside which is good um, because we did think that it may rain but it's lovely and sunny now so we're gonna have a nice early dinner and then head back to the cottage and probably watch a film or something but yeah it's gonna be a lovely evening maple bless her is absolutely shattered we have walked so much today so um she's had a lot to take in but Hopefully she sleeps well tonight because she didn't really sleep last night at all. She was too curious from the noises from the road. So hopefully she's zonked by the time we get back. Good morning. We have checked out of our little cottage. Maple panting in the background. Um, it's quarter past 10, yeah, we've checked out. I said that I would leave the Airbnb linked down below, but I don't know if I will because I wouldn't want to recommend it really. Um, I've stayed in quite a few Airbnbs and I think this was probably the worst one, not for anything other than cleanliness in a couple of the rooms. The bedrooms were quite clean like the linen and everything was fine um, it was just the kitchen really that wasn't great it didn't look like it had been professionally cleaned and the outside area let it down as well um, I won't go into detail about what was left outside but it wasn't very pleasant and yeah just like there was old dishcloths in in the kitchen and like used jars of pesto and butter and jam and stuff in the fridge which I don't know I don't really want to use somebody else's jam I thought that was a bit strange um, they also said that there would be tea and coffee there was tea but there was no coffee which was a bit annoying so yeah I mean I don't I don't think I will leave it linked down below because I wouldn't want to recommend it to someone um, and you go and have the same experience we did it wasn't disastrous but it just wasn't great and it was quite expensive. I think it's expensive because of the location. The location is great. We stayed in Stroll in the World and that's a lovely little town, but just not 100% sure on that Airbnb. It was also on a really busy road, which kept us awake um, on the first night and also wasn't great for Mabel because she is quite easily disturbed. So she was sort of barking at everything going past the window, which wasn't great, but Anyway, we are on our way to Dalesford to have a little look around. The weather is lovely. You can probably see how nice and sunny it is. So hopefully it stays that way. Yesterday wasn't too bad. As I said, it brightened up in the evening, but wasn't great 
in the morning and the afternoon so hopefully we'll have a nice sunny morning um, have a little look around Dalesford and then head home So we've come back to the car to eat our snacks and, well, I've got a hot chocolate, mum's got coffee. Because we got told to move, we sat down with Maple and um, my camera's gonna fall. There was a whole, there's a whole courtyard of seating. Courtyard in the front, it says reserved table service only. And the courtyard in the back says reserved for people at the wine bar. Um, so we literally sat down there, we thought it would just be five minutes. Someone came straight over and said, you need to move because this is reserved for people in the wine bar from 11. Oh, I wish this would stay up. And um, Maple definitely told him what she thought about that and barked aggressively at him, which wasn't great. So we've decided to just drink and eat in the car and then we'll go back in and have a look at the farm shop. Maybe one by one, because it does say dogs welcome though on the door. Mm, I'm not sure how she'll perform in there though. It's probably too busy now. Yeah. Yeah. I got us one salted caramel brownie and one dark chocolate chip cookie. Look how gooey that brownie is. It's very nice but it's very sweet. Do you want to try some? Do you want some of the cookie? Yeah. Right, okay then. Thank you. Sticky. Mm. That's lovely. So obviously I'm home now, back with my home comforts, which I do have to say, I always miss whenever I go away for a night or a few nights. I just love coming home to my safe place, everything that I love. So very happy to be back, although we had a beautiful time away. It was really, really lovely. Um, we enjoyed ourselves. I think Maple enjoyed it too. Um, although she was a little bit anxious at points, but I think she did have a nice time. And I think she will be, absolutely shattered now and probably sleep very well tonight but i'm just going to finish unpacking pop a wash on i'm also going to fix my nails because i lost one well i didn't lose it it was chipped and i kind of picked it off on the way back so i'm gonna take off these and do my own nails again with my manicure set so that is going to be what i get up to this afternoon i will link as much stuff as i can and as many of the places that we went in the description box down below but if you do have any questions then just leave a comment and i'll get back to you thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little mini vlog if you did it would be amazing if you could give it a like and if you are new to my channel i would love it if you subscribed and i will see you all very soon with another video bye